Hello, welcome to my 3D modeling tutorial of a double storied residence. In this project, I'll show you how to make the best use of the plan and the elevation to complete the 3D model. I have provided this two dimensional drawing along with the video description of this video. You can download it and you can make a try. Once you complete this project, you will end up in making such a 3D model of the residence incorporating all the necessary details. So let's get started. Let's go back to the two dimensional drawing. Here I'll be using the plan to create the 3D model as a reference and as and when required, I'll be referring the elevation and I'll be using the various profiles in the elevation to make profiles for my 3D model. So uh, let's copy the plan. So I'll just select the plan and I'll press Ctrl C to copy the plan to the clipboard and I'll just open a new file using the quick access toolbar and I'll just give open and I'll paste this plan over here. I'll press Ctrl V to paste it. Now the plan is pasted. Whenever required, I can go back to the two dimensional drawing and I can refer the elevation as I told you before. As you know, in AutoCAD, you can open any number of drawing files at a time. And you can switch over from one drawing to another using uh, the Ctrl and Tab key combination. And you can switch over from one drawing to another by holding down the Ctrl key and uh, press the Tab key simultaneously. Now, I'll uh, press Ctrl and Tab. You can switch over. But in AutoCAD 2014 and higher versions, you will get each drawing as tabs over here and each tab you will see the name of the drawing simply by clicking on the names you can switch over from one drawing to another. So if you are using the lower version of AutoCAD you can use Control tab key combination. Now I will go back to this plan. Now I want to erase all the unwanted details in this. To create the 3D model I need only the basic profiles such as the windows, walls etc. So I don't need details like uh, the dimension, text etc. So I just want to get rid of the dimensions and text and other unwanted details. Now I'll disable the grid because that's not required. So I'll click on the grid button of the status bar. Next I want to select all the dimensions and text and I want to give an erase command. But if I want to get rid of all these dimensions it is practically it will be very difficult for me uh, to select all these objects because there are so many dimensions and texts in this. So in this context, let's use filter command to perform intelligent selections based on conditions. Please refer my exclusive video on filter command that is making intelligent selections under tips and tricks section in my channel. So I type filter using the keyboard and I'll specify a condition. My condition is dimension. So I'll click on dimension and I'll add this condition to the list. So I want to select all those objects which are dimensions. So I'll just give apply and I'll give all. So this condition is applied to all the objects on the screen. Now you can see that all the dimensions got highlighted. Now I click on erase tool to get rid of the dimensions in one go. Next I would like to select all the text in this drawing. So I'll re-specify my condition. So I give filter again using the keyboard and I'll select this condition and I'll go to edit them and I'll click on another condition which is text. I'll select text from here and I'll click on substitute. Now this condition is being substituted to text that is changed. So the condition is changed and I'll click on apply this condition to all the objects on the screen. Now you can see that all the text got highlighted. Now I'll click on erase tool to erase the text from the screen. Now let's go to layer panel and see the number of layers which are used in this drawing. Now you can see that there are a number of layers created because each object in this drawing is kept in a corresponding layer. But I don't want to retain all these layers but instead I would like to create a single layer called plan and I'll transfer this entire drawing into that particular layer. Next I'll go to layer properties manager dialog box and I'll create a new layer by clicking on the new layer button and I'll give uh, the name plan for this layer. Okay. Now we will transfer all these objects into the plan layer and I'll delete rest of the layers. But when you click on these objects you can see that these are all blocks and if you want to transfer these objects 
onto the new layer, you have to explode them. As you know, you'll be able to edit the block only if it is exploded. So the next step is to is select and explode all the blocks in this drawing. So I can go for intelligent selection using the same filter command. So give filter and you can see the previous condition there. Just click on delete and you add a new condition. Your new condition is block. I'll just select block and click on add to list and I'll apply this condition to all the objects on the screen. So I'll give all. Now we have selected all the blocks. Now you can just give explode. You can just type the letter X for explode and all the blocks got exploded. Next, I'll transfer all these objects to the plan layer. So I'll select all these objects using a window and I'll click on the plan layer from the layer panel. So I'll click on plan. Now object got transferred to the plan layer. Now the color of the plan layer is a deeper color and I would like to change the color to white. So the click on the color of the plan layer, select the white color. Now you can see that the color got changed to white. Now these objects are hatch objects. In AutoCAD, if you want, you can temporarily suppress the display of hatch objects. It is done using the fill command. So I'll type the letter fill. Then you can just turn off the fill. So type off. Then you can give a regenerate command. So type RE. RE is the abbreviation for regeneration. So type RE. Now the display of hatch patterns got suppressed temporarily. Next, I want to remove all the layers from this drawing. So I'll click on the layer panel and I'll activate the plan layer as the current layer. Okay, now I'll give a purge command. The purge command is used to remove the unused layers, uh, blocks, etc. from your drawing. So here, when you give purge, you can see that there is unused dimension styles, unused blocks, layers, etc. So just click on purge all and you click on purge all items. Uh, you can see that some more layers are to be removed. That's why you see a plus sign corresponding to this layer here. So click on purge all once again and click on purge all. Okay, now just give close. Now let's examine the layer panel. Now you can see that there is only uh, the plan layer as well as zero layer. Def point layer cannot be removed as it is the layer created by AutoCAD software when you create dimensions. We will be using this plan only as a reference while you create 3D objects. That means we should not create any of these objects in the plan when you make 3D models. So we will go to the plan layer and I'll just lock this layer. As you know, when you lock a layer, you won't select the objects in that layer under any circumstances by mistake. So I'll switch over to the isometric view. Okay, so this is the right point to start our 3D work.